Wait. That's the word I got. This morning in prayer, I heard the Lord say, wait to wait. And the first wait was W-A-I-T. And it means you need to wait on the timing of the Lord. The second wait was W-E-I-G-H-T. And the Lord downloaded something into my spirit. And the Lord said, so many people are waiting, W-A-I-T, waiting on the things of the Lord. And they're saying, God, when am I going to receive my breakthrough? When am I going to step into the next dimension, the next level? When are things going to happen? But what you must understand is while we're in the waiting process, we have to allow God to prepare our heart, our soul, our spirit, and our mind. Because what a lot of people do not understand is when they get the wait the W-E-I-G-H-T, there is a pressure that comes alongside that. If we're, if I'm carrying groceries out of Walmart and, and they start putting more things into my bags, I'm carrying more weight. If I'm shopping with my wife and she gets another blouse or another shoes or another pair of stilettos, I've got to carry more weight. So why do we think things are different in the kingdom of God? Whenever God puts his favor upon you, that is added weight. When he gives you an increase, if you increase in anything, there's going to be an added weight. When the Lord blesses you, when he blesses you that you don't even have room enough to receive, there is a weight that comes upon you. And what you may not understand is you have to be in the place that you can carry the weight of God. When the glory of God comes upon you, you have to be able to carry that. I've seen so many young ministers, business owners, entrepreneurs that are praying for a, a new platform or a blessing from God. And when it comes upon them, they can't carry it and it destroys them. Would it be horrible to fast and pray and believe for the weight of God? And when the, when the weight is over and the weight of God comes upon you, it destroys you because you cannot handle it. My friends, when you are in the weight, W-I-T, the waiting room, you are, are spending that time in prayer and fasting and God removes the flesh. He remo removes everything to make you a man or woman of God of humility that when the weight comes upon you, you can handle it. Now, let me give you this word. This is the second part. You know, there are some of you that what you are about to receive, and yes, you are about to receive the W-E-I-G-H-T from God. What you are about to receive, you couldn't handle it six months ago. You couldn't handle it two years ago. It would have destroyed you. You couldn't handle it five years ago. My wife and I were talking recently about all the great things that we're doing right now for the Lord and the ministry opportunities and the doors that God is opening for us and the platforms that we get to stand on. If God would have done this for me seven years ago, my arrogance and my pride would have destroyed me because seven or eight years ago, I was arrogant. I was very prideful. But what happened is I had to W-A-I-T on the Lord. And the thing is, you may tell you how to speed up this process. Go on a fast. Spend some more time in prayer because God knows when you are ready to have the W-E-I-G-H-T put upon you. So my friends, quit looking to God all the time and say, God, when are you going to move? Why don't you go to the place of prayer and make sure that you have fasted enough, that you have died to the flesh, that God has got you to the place where you allowed the potter to make you the vessel that he needs to pour the W-E-I-G-H-T, weight of the Lord upon you. My friends, wait to wait. Your weight is about to hit you. So get ready and make sure you're ready and you can handle it.